Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Shortcuts. In this series, I'm showing you and other YouTubers and vloggers alike how to speed up your editing workflow and ultimately create better videos faster. So in this episode, I'm talking about how to blur out sensitive information. So I'll be showing you how to use the universe spot blur to do that. But first, here's Dr. Gao to tell you a little bit more about spot blur. Blurring out bots in the image is a very popular way of covering up sensitive information. So for example, if you forgot to cover up an address on a box, you can use spot blur to blur that out. Or if somebody doesn't want to reveal their identity, you can blur out their face like this. Thanks, Dr. Gal. And to add to that, Yes, we live in a world that is saturated with information. So you may have forgotten to cover up a logo on a laptop or something that you didn't have permission to use in a video, such as somebody in the background of the shot that didn't give a proper consent or release form. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to blur out faces in the background as well as blur out logos that you're not allowed to use in your videos. Let's jump in. So here is the stock video shot of two people walking and in the background, there is a guy that didn't give consent to be on film. So this is where we can apply a spot blur. If you search for universe blur under effects, you will get three different effects. Uni.blur, uni.compound blur, and uni.spot blur. Let's drag and drop the uni.spot blur onto the video clip in the timeline. This will apply the default blur to the clip, which we will need to customize. So the first thing I like to do is to remove all the feathering from the blur by dropping the value to zero. And this gives us a clearer picture of the size and shape of the spot blur. We can always bring back this feathering once we are done resizing and positioning our blur. You can also change the shape to a rectangle if you like, but because we are working with a face here, I'm going to keep it as an ellipse. Next, this blur is quite large. We need to adjust the width and height to make it much smaller. And now you can see that we're working with a much better size for the face. Next, using the position controls, I can move the X and Y coordinates until the spot is over the face of the man in the background. If I need to, I can also change the angle so it better fits the face of the subject. Now we can add in some feathering to make it more blended. And you can also adjust the blur size to increase the intensity and influence of the blur from the center point. I think here 100 is a bit intense, so I'm going to reduce this down until it looks right. But now when we play this back, you can see that the person is moving in the background. So what we have to do is animate the spot blur to stay glued to the man's face in the background. And to do that, we need to keyframe the position of the spot blur. So pull the playhead back to the beginning of the shot and set the toggle animation. And then move the playhead to the moment you start to see the man's face and then adjust the position controls so the face is covered, and then it will create a new keyframe. And then I'm going to continue to scrub through until I see the face again, and I'm going to move the spot blur coordinates again. So this is just a five second clip, so this won't take long, but after you add in all of the position adjustments, you can play it back and you see that the blur is animated to move nicely with the moving face in the background. So this is a more complicated shot, but another more simple shot I have here is of someone typing on this Apple computer. The shot is more simple because it's still and the laptop isn't moving. But let's say that this is for a commercial and we didn't have permission to use the Apple logo in the commercial. So we need to blur it. So to do that, just apply the uni spot blur again to this shot and let's remove the feathering again. Then let's resize the width and the height until it's the right size for the apple on this computer. Then we can move the position to move it to cover up the apple using the position coordinates. And then we can just add back in some feathering and we're done. It's a really super fast and easy tool to use. So that's all there is to blurring out information with spot blur. If you have any questions about spot blur, please be sure to leave a comment below or connect with Red Giant on social media. In the next episode of Shortcuts, I'm going to be showing you how to digitally damage your footage using Red Giant Universe. See you then.